Jay Martin. I'm an associate professor at Ohio State in the Food, Agricultural, and Biological Engineering Department. And my... Oh, they're pumping. They're moving the silage right now. Oh, okay. My, special, my research specialty is ecological engineering, so I'm trying to design or restore ecosystems to provide uh, services to humanity and nature at the same time. So I do a lot of work with natural systems for water treatment. I do some sustainability analyses of different systems. And lately I've been working at bioenergy and that's how I got in interested in biodigesters. At my first exposure I was uh, in Costa Rica actually doing work um, on wetlands, using wetlands to purify water. And some of the farms we were working on, they had uh, some of these salchicha digesters, which are just uh, big, long plastic tubes made out of the same plastic that you make greenhouse out of, uh, but they're in the, sh in the shape of a hot dog. Salchicha in Spanish means hot dog, so they're called the hot dog digester. They're very simple. On one end, you have manure that comes in. On the backside, you have the effluent water. And then from the top of the, top of the hot dog, you collect your methane and a family in Costa Rica with maybe five or ten cows or pigs with one of these digesters they can make all the methane all the energy they need to cook all their food with so they're very sustainable um, very helpful for these families and while I was down there some of these some of these were working really well and some of them weren't working so well and I just began to learn about them a little more uh, some, of the, some of the people I, work, I was working with at the university they had research in these digesters and so I started working with them and became interest, interested that way. In, in the US and Western Europe, most of, the, most of the digester technology that's been developed is only applicable to really large farms. Like, as I mentioned before, like a thousand, thousand cow dairies and cost a million dollars. So that really eliminates the vast majority of most of the farms uh, in, the, in the states from using, from being able to use biodigesters. So what we're trying to do is look at some of the technology that works in tropical areas that, that I've worked with in Costa Rica, look at some of the, the digesters from China and India. In contrast to the United States and China and India, they have millions of digesters that work very well on small scale. So we're trying to take some of that technology, adapt it so it'll work here in this climate, and hopefully come up with something that'll work for um, smaller farms. The way I see it here is uh, our, our, our goal primarily is to adapt this technology for a much broader group of farmers. Um, the large mechanized systems right now um, are often run with the assistance of a consultant. So the idea we have here is that these systems could ultimately be operated by the farmers with maybe some assistance from like our um, extension office or researchers um, to go out and assist them when needed. But the other thing, since we're using septic tanks and PVC plumbing, very common items, the other goal here is to design a system that the farmers can build themselves. Um, we never had any excavation experience. We dug that pit in there and constructed that digester on our own, never having done one before. So actually putting one of these together is fairly easy. The real challenge is optimizing it.